Welcome to your second fan-requested Friday matchup of the week. Lee Labrada, 1992, versus Best Picks of Sergio Oliva. Now, this is obvious why I believe the Clacks requested this one. Both of these guys' sons, they, they compete now. And they may actually be doing battle against each other next time they step foot on the bodybuilding stage. Now, this is a 92 Lee Labrada, but... To be honest, the pitcher quality was not the best from that event. Let's actually bring a 93 one up, and I think it's conditioning, size, everything was pretty equal. It's just that this is a straight-on shot, guys, and I like to be fair, because Sergio Oliva, he is so far ahead of Lee Labrada in here. Not on the conditioning, but look at the waistline and the arm, and even in the legs, guys. This is a domination for Sergio Oliva. Let's go to the next pose, the front lat spread. And this is a 92, of course, for Lee Labrada, and it looks fantastic. But of course, the camera angles can be very tricky in a pose like this. His quality looks a lot better than Sergio Oliva. Now, Sergio had the groceries, don't get me wrong, but maybe he didn't know how to snap it as good as Lee Labrada. Let's bring this infamous one here from 1972, Sergio Oliva, and come on. This is, of course, the camera angles working in his favor. If you don't see that, then, well, come on. You have to see that. But still, I think he would, with his size, Sergio may have enough to defeat the more conditioned, much smaller Lee Labrada. Let's turn to the side, and I think the side poses may favor Lee Labrada, but now that I look at them, I don't know, Sergio is huge. You gotta think, guys, he's always compared with Arnold. Six foot two, big, giant pecs on Arnold. Lee Labrada, very small. This would have been a judge's nightmare to judge between these two. It's mass versus aesthetics. Clearly, though, I think those pecs are enough for Sergio. This is domination, guys. Not the way I thought. The side tricep, this is another bad angle for uh, Lee Labrada. And this is the comeback version of Sergio Oliva, but this is the only side tricep I could find. The side tricep was not a mandatory pose up until, I don't know, gosh, the maybe 1980 or I believe the late 70s. I have to do my homework on that. A little bit hard to find out. And then, of course, they did add the most muscular after that. But anyway, guys, neither one of these side triceps are impressing me. Let's turn around and look at the back developments. And this is a strange occurrence. There is no real good pitchers of Sergio Oliva hitting the rear lat spread. Obviously, he's leaned way over here. But it still shows the legs. His legs and glutes not as conditioned, but a lot bigger than Lee Labrada's. This one here is a good shot of Sergio, but it just shows the back. And I would say that width is probably going to be enough. There is stuff of legends about that back, or legends about that back of Sergio Oliva, but why not a whole lot of pictures of it? Very, very vexing. The conditioning, though, may get Lee Labrada an edge. Here's a decent shot of Sergio in his rear double bicep, but this is the comeback version, and we are safe to assume that he may have been better in his prime, but it's hard to say. He was actually quite conditioned here. And I think that size, those lower lat insertions is enough to defeat Lee Labrada. But then you look at the glutes. Gosh darn it, it is a close decision between these two. Ab and thigh pose. This was never a good one for Sergio Oliva. I don't believe they hit it a whole lot back in the day, back in the early 70s. You didn't see a whole lot of ab and thigh poses, other than perhaps from Serge Nebre and guys like that, Frank Zane. But here, Lee Labrada... He is an aesthetic bodybuilder for sure, and this is an aesthetic pose. But personally, I never thought that his ab and thigh was the best. Is it enough to, to defeat Sergio Oliva? Yeah, I think so, but just barely. It's actually quite a duel here in the final pose in this actually a quick little matchup, I guess. Lee Labrada versus Sergio Oliva. Let's have Hunter Labrada versus Sergio Oliva Jr. live on stage at the Olympia. Wouldn't that be cool? But anyway, guys, these two, I'm sure, are very proud, or would be, Sergio would be very proud of his son. I know Hunter, 
Sergio or Lee is very proud of Hunter as well. I kind of like Lee Labrada better in this, in this most muscular. He's snapping that crab position perfectly. Of course, Sergio is a lot bigger, guys. And he was bigger in all of the poses. And Sergio Oliva is your winner in this matchup. And to be honest, there would be judges focusing in on the conditioning alone that would give Lee Labrada the edge. But them dreamlike proportions of Sergio, very difficult to beat. One of, if not the greatest bodybuilder of all time. The only one ever to defeat Arnold on the Olympia stage. Hope you enjoyed your second fan-requested Friday matchup of the week. Don't forget to get your request in, guys. I can only honor the very first one, and it will be played next week. Hope you enjoyed this one. Hit thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Instagram. Have a great day.